Are you looking for the best customization setup for your PC, but you don't know what to pick? Well, we can help you out because we asked our community, what's your favorite setup? And these were the top three picks. From clean abstract mountains to full Apple-like glass desktops and minimalistic designs, these are the best of the best. You will transform every aspect of your PC for each setup from custom themes to productive app launchers and even fully transparent menus. Each setup is fully tested, community approved and comes with all the tools and performance details you need to recreate them. Oh, and by the way, we're Unknown Tech and if you love unique setups like this, make sure to join our community. We've built hundreds of setups already. But now let's get right to it and start with setup number 3. A minimalistic yet colorful mountain inspired desktop combined with a unique clock widget, a few subtle UI tweaks and some pretty useful productivity tools. The setup was designed by Thunder4814 so big shout out to him. This setup is perfect for anyone who wants a lightweight, vibrant and efficient workspace without sacrificing performance. The first change will be the wallpaper. You can find the link to this website under the video. Just download the version that matches your screen resolution by right clicking the image after it opens in a new tab and selecting download. Then save it in a dedicated folder so everything stays organized and easy to find later. You right click the image and hit select as desktop background. And just like that, your desktop already looks a lot more interesting. Now let's tackle the rest of the default Windows UI with a little app called Windhawk, which you've probably already heard of. It lets us customize stuff like the taskbar and start menu, which is super useful. The installation is really easy, I just advise you to install the app into a new folder. To get a translucent taskbar, we will install the taskbar styler in Windhawk. Just click here and then hit the install button. You can just accept this warning as the tools are checked to be safe and used by tons of people. Then go to the settings and select simply transparent as the style and don't forget to hit save. To get this simplified start menu, we will also get the start menu styler here. Again, just hit install and accept the warning and in the settings, choose the down arrow style. Now let's also make the notifications menu transparent. For that, we will get the notification menu styler just like before. In the settings, just select the transparent look. That wraps up our UI changes and I have to say this already makes a huge difference to the overall look of the setup. But now let's move on to the unique desktop clock I showed you earlier as it's the detail that really brings this setup to life. For that we will install an app called BWidgets that allows us to create desktop widgets on Windows 11. You can just download it with the link I put in the description. The installation again is very simple, just click continue and choose the time widget here. Now to get the right style on the clock, click customize and go in the appearance settings. Then first click on the color and completely remove the opacity. With the background gone, you can go in the font section and increase the size to 120. And after that, you just need to change the font to Magneto. If you don't have this font on your system, you can just install it with the link I put under the video. To finish the setup, go back to the edit section and increase the width until the clock isn't cut off anymore. That finishes off the visual upgrades for our first setup. And honestly, I'm a big fan of its colorful, minimal design. But before we move on, let me quickly show you Flow Launcher, a super fast app launcher that the creator of this setup also uses to boost productivity. Once again, you'll find the download link in the description. After you've downloaded and launched the installer, you might see a small Windows warning. But don't worry, that's just because the app isn't from a big publisher. You can safely skip the warning. As before, the setup also isn't very complicated. You just need to keep in mind that you select the run on startup option at the end. You can access the search bar by pressing Alt plus space. And while we are at it, you can search for settings to open the app settings. The app actually offers tons of mods to help you with file management. But the most important is the everything file search integration. The extension allows you to find any file on your PC in an instant. For the setup, go to the plugin section and there to the explorer mods. Open the settings and navigate to this section. Now just set these three options to everything. If you search something now, it will tell you that everything is not installed. Click on the notice and press no here to install it. Now this fully completes the third place setup and we can advance to the second place, a modern macOS inspired look. This setup will give you a really modern looking dock and top bar that almost looks like the new magic glass. Plus you will also learn how to get the classic Mac buttons and transparent menus. And to round things off, we will get a fitting desktop clock. This setup was sent in by Smile, so thanks for that. And performance wise, it's a bit on the heavier side because of the dock and top bar application. Let's kick things off simple with the wallpaper. You can find it on this website, which is linked down below. Again, choose the right resolution and just download it. Apply it like before by right clicking and selecting set as background. This leaves us with a great simple and minimalistic home screen, but now let's get to the most important part, the Apple-like dock and top bar. For this effect, we will have to get my dock finder. To install it, you will actually have to fire up Steam. From here, you can install the app, but as you can see, it unfortunately costs five bucks. After you have bought the app, go to your Steam library and install the tool. Here, just choose your drive and hit install. Now you can just hit play to start the setup. First things first, let's get rid of the old taskbar. For that, just go to the top left corner and click on Explorer. This will open a menu where you need to click Hide Taskbar. 
Now to match the look of the dock used for this setup, you have to go to the settings by right, clicking the dock and navigating to preferences. First go to appearance and check make dock use custom blur. Here move both values to something like 10. Now scroll further down to the context menu settings and apply the same values. Next do the same thing in those settings for the menus. Last go to the finder section in the appearance settings and this time move all values to 0. Now the blur is better but we are still missing the Tahoe icons. To get them scroll all the way done in the appearance menu and click on this menu and then on workshop. This opens a new menu where you have to go to icons. Here you have a whole selection of icons. For the Tahoe ones click here and then on subscription and then on this icon. There should now be this loading circle at the top. When it's done go to installed, click on the Tahoe icon and then here again and then hit ok to finish everything. This already looks really professional but if you are like me you probably don't like this weird preview windows. To remove them go to the minimize effect and enable minimize to dock. No just right, click the dock and hit refresh dock to see the change. And while we are at it we can also improve the scaling animation. For that go to look and behavior and drag the icon size to somewhere around 100 and the scaling to something around 120. Now this looks a lot smoother in my opinion. Right now when you open up the launchpad it says that there are no apps. To change that go to launchpad here and open the icons menu. Then just select the last option which will add all of your start menu apps. All of this should give you a very nice working dock and top bar but let's take the setup to the next level with this professional looking desktop clock. For that we will have to get Raymeter, a widely used app that allows you to install different mods for widgets and other stuff. You can find the installation page below. Again you don't need to do anything for the installation. So after that we can go straight to install the needed mod for the clock called Jack's Core. This time the setup is a bit more difficult. You may encounter that the app won't install properly because of your antivirus. So pause that for a minute. Now your Jack's Core should install normally and you just need to press continue until we get to the last page in this setup process. Here unselect your mixer and your flyouts and instead select modular clock and then hit install. Then normally the mod settings will automatically open and we will first go to general. Here select the apple style and don't forget to activate the clock with this switch. To increase the size go to the style options and increase the widget size to something that fits well with your setup. With this the desktop look is completed but we still don't have the custom Mac button so let's tackle that now by opening Windhawk again. This time search for a mod called UX Theme Hook which allows you to install completely custom themes to Windows. Install it like before by ignoring this warning. Now we will get a theme from this website and to be specific we will get the Night Owl theme. Just download it and then open the folder and navigate to the theme files and copy all of them. After that open your Windows folder and then the resources folder and then go to the themes folder and paste the files there. Then simply open your settings, go to personalization, open themes and select the Night Owl look and that's it. As you can see the explorer still looks not quite as modern without translucent effects. So let's fix that by installing a little mod from github called explorer blur mica. Go to the releases and get this zip folder. After that you just have to unpack it to a custom folder. Then you can just open the new folder and run the command prompt script to apply the blur. By the way you can ignore this warning. With that the second place setup is finally finished and it's got a really organized and professional vibe to it. But now let's continue to the setup ranked in the first place. This setup is also more on the simpler side but it has a really nice animated wallpaper and also a stylish clock widget that gives it a unique touch. Besides that it also uses a dock and top bar but this time a free version which is also great. And if this isn't enough for you you can also add some widgets though the original setup was designed without them. The design is from miscellaneous so congrats to him for winning the vote and this cool D2 Pro Bluetooth speaker. The setup uses a bit less performance than the one before but it's still not as minimal as the first because of the live walloper. Anyway let's get right to the setup of the wallpaper. This time we will actually need a small app called lively wallpaper which is of course linked down below. This time you actually don't need to do anything for the installation. After it's installed you just need to select this theme here and that already gives you the whole thing. Now we can focus on the free version of the dock and top bar which also looks really cool and works well. The app we need for that is called Ceilin UI and is also available in the Microsoft stores. For this app there is also nothing to set up in the installation as everything will be set up in the settings later. Start the app by clicking on this pop-up or just open it normally. To get in the settings right click the dock and select settings. Now let's get these themes for the look of the dock and top bar. There are actually a lot available but we will go with this glass like dock style for which I put you a link in the description. Allow Seal and UI to open here and then click resource enable to download the theme. To apply them go to resources then themes and then just toggle the switch for the glass skin and the bubbles theme for the top bar and don't forget to hit save to apply the effects. Combined with the wallpaper the setup is the perfect distraction free work environment but if it's a bit too empty for you we can actually add some more useful information with these glass like widgets. 
This one is another GitHub project called New Widgets. First go to the releases and download the files. After that we can unpack them like before to a new folder. With that done, just run the .x file in the folder and we can start setting up the widgets. We will choose the calendar, monitor and weather widget. Under appearance, I would also advise you to change the accent color to white so it fits perfectly to the setup. And with that, the first place setup is finally complete and you have a truly unique work environment with it. If we take a look again at the second and third place, you also learned today how to build a colorful desktop and also how to build a more work-focused Mac-like setup. Of course, feel free to combine any of the setups to build the perfect setup for your personal needs out of these three community favorites. For example, I love to use the Flow Search Launcher everywhere. If you need any help or have any questions on customization in general, feel free to check out our helpful Discord community and otherwise drop a like and a subscription to further support our channel.